Pikeville, Kentucky, the city that moves mountains, the city that moves rivers, the city that creates opportunity, the city that is now considered the most progressive in Eastern Kentucky. But what is the secret to creating such a vibrant community in rural coal country? I believe it has a lot to do with one simple concept, plan the work and work the plan. In April of 1977, five to eight inches of rain turned Pike County into a wasteland of water, mud, and disaster. Rainfall records were set all across the southeastern United States, with tens of thousands of people being displaced from their homes. Just 20 years before the 1977 flood, the 1957 flood wreaked havoc on the city. Locals were upset, businesses could not grow, and the town was running out of flat land to build on. Pikeville wasn't the only town in the region with this problem. Williamson, West Virginia had also been hit hard, as well as Hazard. Cities throughout the region solved their flooding problems in a variety of ways. Some folks even decided to move their entire town out of the floodplain. One community built walls, and Pikeville had a completely different approach that would strategically position the city to prosper. Mayor William Hamley was the visionary leader behind the Pikeville Cut-Through Project. Known as the mayor who moved a mountain, Dr. Hamley sought to relocate the railroad in order to eliminate the dust that came from coal hauling trains which passed through the city daily. More importantly, this was an opportunity to relocate the Labasa Fork of the Big Sandy River away from the city to eliminate what was becoming an annual event, flooding. The project began in 1973 with phase one, moving nearly 13 million cubic yards of rock and debris from Peach Orchard Mountain to create a new road, riverbed, and railway. Phase one cost $17.2 million, which is over $100 million today. Phase two began in 1980. Railroad tracks were removed from the city and placed through the cut through with construction of a bridge crossing the new route. During this phase, the river was rerouted and the former riverbed in the city was filled. Five million cubic yards of soil was moved and filled in the old riverbed to create 240 acres of new property. This phase cost $19.7 million, which is over $114 million today. Phases three and four were completed by 1987 when the project was dedicated. These final stages included the construction of another bridge, the construction of Hamley Boulevard atop the old railroad bread, which created an, an additional 150 acres of property for the city. After completion, the Pikeville Cut-Through Project moved over 18 million cubic yards of earth for a total cost of $77.6 million, nearly a half a billion in today's dollars. Today, knowingly and unknowingly, thousands of people visit or pass through the Cut-Through Project. Most don't realize they're passing through a project second only to the Panama Canal. If you're passing by or have not visited the Pikeville Cut-Through Project, take a short drive up Bob Amos and experience the overlook for yourself and see Mayor Hambly's vision and now reality right before your eyes. <laughs>